What is going on everyone? Welcome back. We're in the final week of the Open. 24.1 and 24.2 are done and Dave Castro just released his hint for 24.3. I may not have gotten the workouts exactly right the past few weeks, but I have gotten some movements right. But I can almost guarantee that I know what's going to happen for 24.3. Start things off, Dave Castro took a video of him taking a raw chicken leg and feeding it to, I'm assuming it's his dog. But does this hint have any meaning? Potentially, um, I think there's certain things that we have to see in the open for, in order for it to be a test of fitness. And so far, we've just had a lot of hinging and a lot of jumping. We have not had any squatting. We have not had any gymnastics. And before people say a burpee is a gymnastics movement, a burpee to me, I consider that a monostructural movement uh, before a gymnastics piece. But besides the point, no squatting, no gymnastics, nothing heavy. So why not bring all that this week in the finale to kind of kick it all off. We know that this open has been more inclusive. I can almost guarantee that this has been one of the highest rated for RX across the board. Like uh, where we typically see people do scaled, you've probably had a lot more people do RX, which you know that could be people's fitness coming up, as well as them making these workouts accessible to almost everyone. If you have your double unders and you can deadlift 185 pounds or 125 pounds, you most likely have been able to RX these past two workouts. With that being said, the past two workouts have not been super leg taxing, so I think we are gonna see some sort of squat coming up. And then, you know, in almost every open, there's a thruster. So I think we're gonna see a form of squatting and some form of a thruster. Also with that being said, we've seen no gymnastics, so I think we're about to get a ton of gymnastics poured on us because yeah, I know there's gonna be higher skill gymnastics in quarterfinals, but for the people that don't make it to quarterfinals, they need some sort of opportunity to showcase their gymnastics and how far they've come in the past year or two. So I think we're throwing it back to two years ago and we're gonna repeat 21.3 and 21.4. 21.3 is for time, it's a 15 minute cap. 15 front squats at 95, 65, 30 toes to bar, 15 thrusters, rest one minute. 15 front squats, 95, 65, 30 chest to bar, 15 thrusters, rest one minute. 15 front squats, 95, 65, 30 bar muscle ups, 15 thrusters. And then like I said, 15 minute time cap. Either as soon as that time cap hits or as soon as you finish, you have a seven minute clock that starts and you establish a one rep complex for max load of one deadlift, one clean, one hand clean, one shoulder to overhead. So boom, there we go. Get another lung burner in with that first piece. It's pretty quick, um, especially if you're uh, high, pretty high skill in your gymnastics. And then uh, we are getting a lot of squatting, so your legs are gonna blow up on you. We have 30 squats per round, uh, half of them being thrusters, having to press overhead. And then we move into something heavy and you establish that heavy complex for yourself. Um, I did not get the opportunity to do this workout back in 21. I was on crutches after a knee surgery, so I got to watch a lot of people do this one. I think I've tested the first part before, um, and I've done complex similar to this, so it should be a lot of fun. But if we relate it back to the hint, chicken leg, yeah, uh, it's gonna get torn up just like the dog tore up the chicken leg. Your legs uh, should absolutely be shot by the end of this. It's 90 total squats within the Metcon. And then if you're squatting under the bar to try to maximize your load, uh, you're gonna feel your legs there. Um, so that's where I think the leg comes into play. Another part is, is you're ripping the skin off the chicken leg. So um, the dog pulled all the meat and the skin off the leg. So ripping the skin off your hands with 90 gymnastics movements, which is a hefty amount in one workout. And the last part of the hint, um, but not the least, the dog. Um, I think the main reason for that part of the hint is when it comes down to that complex and you're getting ready to hit that shoulder to overhead right at the end of that long complex, you gotta have that dog in you and you gotta hit it. So just like that dog went after it, you gotta go after it. You gotta have that dog in you. So when you're there at the end of the complex, you've hit the deadlift, you've hit both cleans, and you're sitting there getting ready to hit the shoulder overhead. Castro's asking you, do you have that dog in you? Are you gonna hit it? And hopefully all of you guys will. Um, if this ends up being the workout, I would love for it to be just cause that complex is fun to watch. I remember just watching it like on crutches. I was like, oh, this is so cool to see. So I want to have the opportunity to do it, you know, throw around some heavy weight, um, hopefully hit around that three bill mark and then absolutely burn it down in the first piece. But 
if there's anything that you guys think um, that this final workout may be something that I may be missing on the hint, let me know down below. Other than that, guys, I've been loving all the support as of late. You guys have been amazing, and I'm super grateful for it, and I hope to bring a ton more content soon. Other than that, I will see you guys next time, and good luck. Let's hope I'm right with this one. Peace.